Hello fellas, friends, welcome to my St. Patrick's Day party. Have a good time y'all. The drinks are in the other room fellas. What are you doing fella? I want to join the party. Well, you're not green. You can't come in. Get out of here, fella. Oh, man. It ain't right. Welcome to Toy Wrestling Entertainment. Hello, fans of Toy Wrestling Entertainment. Welcome to another episode. I'm your broadcast commentator, Kevin. And I'm here to say that General Manager Deku continues to work from home as of orders from Board of Directors here of TWE. However, Deku wants me to announce that he has booked a main event for today's event. And it will be Hulkster versus the Galaxy Champion right back. And the national champion Joe Henning and SE Punk in a one versus three handicap match. We kick things off within the ring. Roman Rage. I'm ready to challenge whoever is the Galaxy Champion at Toy Mania. Wait a minute. AJ Styles has come out here in the States. Hello Roman, I, AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, want to step up and challenge you right here, right now. What do you say, big dog? <laughs> come on down and let's have the match. I accept the challenge. Roman Rage will accept any challenge on his road to Toy Mania. And today, the challenge is being thrown out by AJ Styles, who's stepping up to face and challenge the winner of this year's Toy Rumble matchup, Roman Rage. We're going to have the matchup impromptu matchup. Here comes the referee. Looks like the match is official. Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Jumping kick down goes Roman. AJ going on the top rope. Flying me to the head of the Roman Rage. One, two, and kicks out. Roman getting up slowly and out of a sudden a flying Superman punch. I don't know where. Finish her a spear down goes AJ. One, two, three. Ding ding. The winner of the match, Roman Rage, and Roman Rage with another victory on his way to Toy Mania and the Galaxy Champion, whoever it may be. People ask me why I pick on Chart Toy. They see him as this innocent kid. He's not innocent. People forget that Chart Toy destroyed and ended the skinny weight division here in TWE some few years ago. In people's heads, Chart Toy is an underdog. <laughs> Funny. If you check the history books of Toy Wrestling Entertainment, you can clearly see Chart Toy is a record-breaking eight-time hardcore champion, former Intercontinental Champion. To me, that's no underdog. Chart Toy is a phony, fake fraud. He's not innocent. He's done bad things here in TWE, just like I have. And he's no underdog. At Ring Revenge, I will become the hero when I stop a chart toy from ever winning my national championship. 
now in the ring is Drew McTired. I'm glad to see that he's back after he missed last week's show because of a concussion. After Adam the Strongman assaulted him, attacked him with his own sword the week before. That caused that concussion. And that's why Drew wasn't here last week. I've got some news for Adam Strongman. I have cleared all concussions tests, which means I'm cleared to go against Adam Strongman at Ring Revenge. Now here comes Adam Strongman, and he's making his way to the ring to confront Drew. The match is set for Ring Revenge. These two will battle it in the ring. But we're getting a preview as they fight right now. But Adam Strongman, too powerful for Drew, picks him up and slams him down in the ring. Adam Strongman, too strong, too powerful for Drew McTire. I can't wait for this fight, this matchup at Ring Revenge next week. First of all, does anyone know where Green Guy is today? I believe he's at Shamo St. Patrick's Day party. A party no one gave Green Guy or anyone permission to go to any party. Well, I don't know about that, but I have a question. Um, will any of us be competing in the Tag Team Toys Rumble? And if so, which set of us will represent the Sinisters in that matchup? <laughs> of course, I want the Sinisters represented in the Tag Team Toy Rumble. And bring the Galaxy Tag Team Championships to our sinister group. But however, last week, the Green Guy and Mystery Man, you lost two of you versus one. And you couldn't get the job done, even if the numbers were in your favor. How disappointing. Hmm. I'm thinking hard about which two members to include in the Tag Team Toys Rumble. But it's difficult to decide because all of you keep letting me down. None of you have impressed me lately. So I must ask some all of you to do something. Give me a reason to make you part of that set of tag teams for the Rumble matchup. Give me something. Do something. Show me how sinister you guys can truly be. And now in the ring is Jason. As Jason has some matchup here today once again. And his opponent, King Elinus. He won the King of the Ring last year to be nicknamed King, King Elinus. First ever, we'll have Elinus versus Jason. In my opinion, the most challenging opponent for Jason. But it works the other way around. Probably the most threatening, vicious opponent. For Elinus as well. Ring the bell. Ding ding ding. Elinus trying to take the fight to Jason. But he won't get him to move with those punches. And a kick but Jason still left standing. And a close line and still nothing. And another close line Jason won't drop at all. And Jason with a big boot to King Elinus. Picks him up. Has somebody to throw a choke slam. One, two, 
three. Ding, ding, ding. Here's your winner, Jason. And again, Jason with another victory. But it's not like he beat a nobody. He beat the king of the ring. A tough challenge. And Jason made him look like nothing. King is down and out in the ring. And I believe, if I remember correctly, that makes Jason a 6-0 as he continues his undefeated streak here in Toy Wrestling Entertainment. And King Elijah is struggling to get to his speed. Somehow able to still have life and enough strength to get up. Remember, it was Jason that took down big things several weeks ago. With a chain attack, and we haven't seen big things since. But wait a minute, Team Legacy. RKO out of nowhere, the King of Lightness. Because of course it's their enemy. And now Dallas picking up King of Lightness. Hit some with his finish that reverted DDT. Team Legacy picking up, picking on the so whatever was left of King Elias after this vicious matchup Well taking advantage with Team Legacy of this double actions there To attack a man two against one But also is there more vicious and despicable because it's after he had a matchup God admire how King Elias booked himself in this 2 on 1 handicap match for Ring Revenge next week. I don't know how he's gonna survive this 2 on 1 battle. Venebus on the attack, taking out Jeffrey, attacking the Hardy Bros, taking out Matthew, probably to try and press its sinister leader. And now we are set for to have a matchup in the toy ring. In one corner we have Baby Spidey. He is the leader of the Spidey Club. In the opposite corner we have Owens. Owens um, asked for this matchup. Well not this specific matchup but, but he wanted a matchup. And this is the one that was for him. This is actually one of the matches we saw at Toy Mania 2 several years ago. So it's a Toy Mania rematch. Nevertheless, ring the bell. Ding ding ding. Owens shoving Baby Spidey into the corner. And now shoves him into the opposite corner there. Cannonball. Little damage done and a drop kick by Baby Spidey, who's not on the top rope, going for a signature Spidey Splash. And now it seems like he's calling for his finisher. But wait a minute, Matt English, the Intercontinental Champion attacking Baby Spidey with a belt. Ding, ding, ding. This one ends speed of disqualification. The inner cut out champion Matt English laying out the leader of the Spidey Club, causing the disqualification in this baby Spidey's favor. And Owens cannot be happy about this end result. Baby Spidey trying to get himself back up, and it looks like the inner cut out champion is looking to attack him with a belt once again. But here comes the Spidey Club. And Matt English running off, running away with the Intercontinental title. Baby Spidey saved by Tom Spidey and Iron Spidey. And remember, Matt English will defend the Intercontinental title next week at Ring Revenge against Iron Spidey. So Spidey Club has an opportunity to bring the Intercontinental title to their stable. And Owens, who just got a microphone from my desk here, is back on the stage. TWE management, after talking to Zep Black last week and doing nothing meaningful today, I have come to the decision that 
I want to ask TWE for my release. Oh no, Owen's wanting out of TWE. About what Joe said about me earlier. Hmm, interesting. However, I never said I was innocent. I never label myself an underdog. I have no control over how others feel about me. I don't see myself as an underdog. I don't say that I'm innocent. I don't put those labels on me. People put those labels on me. That's what they feel about me. And that's fine. That's fine. They can feel however. But let's be real. Joe Henning isn't bullying me and picking on me because of anything like that. What it really is is that he's trying to get inside my head. He's trying to break my spirit because he fears that I can take his national championship at Ring Revenge. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Joe, you ain't breaking my spirit. And at Ring Revenge, I will stand up for myself against you, you big bully. And I will get my hands on you. And I will beat you and become the new national champion. Now in the ring we have Mizanin with a referee. I don't know why he's not scheduled for a matchup today right now. I want to call out Otis, the hardcore champion. Come out. I want that hardcore title right now. Come out so I can destroy you and beat you for that hardcore title. Because that's my ticket to Toy Magnia this year. Come out, Otis. And here comes the hardcore champion, Otis. Not backing out from being called out by Ms. Ann in here. He's going to join them in the ring. Got to admire he's not running away. Yeah, Ms. Ann, I'm not afraid to lose this hardcore title to anyone. That's ballsy if you ask me. And out comes RB Dammit with a kick knocks out the champion. RB Dammit has the hardcore champion down. Five star frog splash, he's gonna pin him there. But Ms. Ann breaks up the pin attempt. And a scar crushing finale on RV Debbie. And Otis takes out Ms. Ann and slams him with the meat slam. And now Otis is walking out, still hardcore champion. And now Mystery Man flying in and assaulting the Guardians, taking out T Rex and McCrook. Probably trying to oppress his sinister leader as well. Brother Grace in the ring with a coffee. How creepy. That's because he'll be taking on King number two in a coffin match at Ring Revenge next week. King two. It is I, Brother Bray, warning you not to show up. To the coffin match at Ring Revenge. I will end King 2 and I will gain control of your mind. <laughs> there is no stopping it. There is no stopping it. Do you understand, King 2? Once I have you in my hands, there's no finishing it. There ain't nothing you'll be able to do to end it. Wait a minute, the lights just went red here. What the heck is going on? Wait a minute, the coffin just opened up. And King 2 is inside it. Turn around, brother. Bro. King 2 coming out of that coffin. 
He's got brother Bray by the bearded throat and choke slam to hell. King two choke slamming brother Bray coming out of that coffin. They'll meet in a coffin match next week at Ring Revenge. So don't miss it. And Spiker Tinker, invading Chamo St. Patrick's Day party, attacking him. A choke slam to Chamo, ruining his St. Patrick's Day party. Oh my goodness. And here is the updated card for next week's TWE special event ring revenge. First of all, we have three different matches solely based on rivalries. The other four matches, that's right, four championship matches. Let me tell you, okay? In this rivalry match, we got Adam Strongman versus Drew McTire. These two will want to kill each other in this matchup. We also have the Intercontinental Champion Matt English defending against Iron Spidey. The National Champion Joe Henning will defend the title against his challenger Chart Toy. We also have Elinus, Key Elinus versus Team Legacy Randall Keyford in Dallas Rotunda in a two versus one handicap match as requested by the King of the Ring himself, King Elinus. The hardcore title is also set to be the Defended Otis, the defending champion against RB Dammit. Keep in mind the hardcore title has 24-7 rules that can affect this or any time the title is on the line. And what could be considered the second main event, it's gonna be a coffin match as K2 battles the demonic Brother Bray in a coffin match. This one's been brewing and building for months now. They finally go head to head in the coffin match next week at Ring Revenge. And with the official main event, the Galaxy title on the line. The defending champion right back versus Bautista. The winner is guaranteed to be champion cup Toy Mania and defend the title against Toy Rumble winner Robin Rage. However, here is something more interesting. A wild card, if you will, as we have a special guest referee for that title match, and it's the legendary Stone Cold Beer that will referee this main event. All this will be next week at Toy Wrestling Entertainment Presents Ring Revenge. It's main event time, and Hulkster's already in the ring weighing his three opponents. And it's pretty obvious that he's booked in this three versus one handicap match for what he did to general manager Dead Cool attacking him two weeks ago. Last week he was in against two versus one handicap match. That wasn't enough. Two was not enough to put down and, and, and or do any damage to Hulkster. So perhaps three guys including two champions, could be enough against Holster Wilson. His first of three opponents is S.E. Punk, and thankfully he's alone out here, and not with his wife at ringside that will make things even worse for Holster. The next opponent, he is the Toy Wrestling Entertainment National Champion, Joe Hedden. The inaugural national champion Joe Hedden. Why would you not pick one of the two champions there? If, you, if you're Deadpool, I understand why he selected the national champion. He's a vicious champion to put against Hulkster. 
and the third opponent. He is the toy best friend entertainment galaxy champion. Right. He cashed in his moolah in the bank at Toy Rumble against Horrible Hogan to capture this title. Three versus one. That's what could happen when you pissed off. Someone in power here on TWE, in this case, Hulkster pissing off and by attacking the general manager now because of this. He spot himself in the main event against three guys in a handicap match. The referee's a little late because he was over here in the commentary table letting me know that he's been told by that. Who the general manager that is tornado rules which is even worse for holster because his three opponents do not have to tie in and out they, they are allowed to be in the ring at the same time three on one ring the bell ding, ding. wait 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 i'm getting a, a text message here general manager deku Says he forgot to let me know that this is actually an elimination handicap match. So Hulkster has to pin or submit all three of his opponents. Making it even harder for him to win this one. What a situation. He's outnumbered completely. How's this going to kick start? I'm imagining they're all going to gang up on him at the same time. But Hulkster with a hawk jump takes out all three. Divide and conquer, I guess. It up German suplex on the national champion, Joe Henry. As he pump from behind with a kick. I know as he punk is going for something. As he punk trying to lock in the end of the vice. But wait a minute, look at the strength of Hulkster. The former Galaxy champion showing his. As he throws out as he punk out of the ring. Turns around to be Mikko clothesline by the Galaxy Champion. But the National Champion telling the Galaxy Champion he's gonna take care of this one. He's got it. He says as he throwing some aggression there. The throat and face of Hulkster and Deku has got to be loving this at the moment. As he watches and works from home, the general manager has got to love that he put Hulkster in this situation as some kind of payback for that assault two weeks ago. Now right back holding up Hulkster as Joe Henry with those fists to the spit big skull of Hulkster doing some damage. And now Essie Punk joining them in the ring. For the three on one assault there. With those kicks now on Hulkster. And Hulkster breaks out of the grip and he takes out Punk and Joe Hetty. He's got Punk now. Flips him inside out. Now he's come face to face with the Galaxy Champion. He's picking them up. He's gonna take out the Galaxy Champion out of the ring for now. Now Punk back up with a kick to Hulkster. Wait a minute, here comes Kurt Angle. He's got Punk up, Angle slam. Kurt Angle with some revenge on SC Punk from last week's assault with a nightstick. Now Hulkster's gonna take advantage, I believe. One, two, three. Ding, ding. SC Punk has been eliminated. That's gonna piss off General Manager Deku and the National Champion from behind with a perfect cutter. But when a minute Char Toy running in from behind, a bulldog from behind, like his contender Char Toy will challenge Joe Henning for the national title next week at Ring Revenge. And Char Toy with some payback. On Joe Henry for picking on him, bullying him the last several weeks. Now Hulkster just gonna take advantage here. Go for the pinball. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Joe Henning has been eliminated. Guys, here's the thing. 
It was the bull shark move, a shark toy that eliminated Joe Henry. Which tells us that in next week, Shark Toy hits that finishing maneuver. On Joe Henry, he could be crowned a new national champion. And now the, the Galaxy Champion right back must enter the ring alone with Hulkster. Hulkster's chance to prove himself, but wait a minute, Bautista attacking right back at first into the ring post. And now shoving the Galaxy Champion into the solid ring steps. Bautista will challenge right back for that Galaxy title next week at Ring Revenge. And a spine buster to that Galaxy Champion right on the solid steel ring steps. Hulkster getting lucky and must be the fact that he's green and it's St. Patrick's Day. Getting lucky that history opponents have enemies that were willing to give up the advantage back. And now he's gonna get back in the ring with Hulkster is right back. He gets caught and smashed. Now up in the shoulders, going for a spinish maneuver. Bomb! One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Your winner, Hulkster. Three on one was not enough. Against the odds, Hulkster. Still with a victory. General Manager Deck, who could not be too happy about these end results. TWE presents Ring Revenge next week, a pay-per-view-like special here on the Guest Brand. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Stay lucky. Have a good night. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.